Hey everybody, welcome back to What is Up with Trove, episode number four. Uh, wow, it's already been a month. That is amazing. Uh, time time flies by, and I love it. Um, so yeah, here we are, episode four. Um, today is Wednesday. Uh, I'm actually a day late recording this because I was sucked into Bloodborne, uh, PS4, new game that came out yesterday, and played it for 15 hours straight and kind of forgot to record so we're a, we're a little late but better late than never right of course uh today i'm in the hub as you can see the world is around me whoa ha 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 true my hands cut off yeah all the little people in my hand little people in my hand i see you anyway um yeah so in the hub today uh if you're listening uh, via a podcast form, you're thinking I'm crazy, but that's all right because crazy's good. Uh, so I'm gonna start off. Well, what I've been doing in Trove this week is running lots and lots of dungeons. Um, originally we thought that the patch uh, ships and fish and fish and ships was going to be out this week, but they delayed it due to some. Uh, some unforeseen bugs or something like that and so it was actually pushed to next week um but uh we can go into that a little bit later in terms of uh what what that patch was supposed to give us and next week of course when we actually have the patch i'll cover that a lot more um but this week i hit mastery level 46 uh so yay yay for that got a, a regal chair and it's gold and i love it it's awesome it actually caused me to change my whole whole look on my character to a gold-plated character, um, which is very, very happy and very exciting. I'm halfway, almost halfway to 100, which is good, and actually a, a good reason for that. Not only because it's 100, is because of the chaos factor, which I'll go into in the news, of, of course. Um, and I started playing Rift again. Yeah, Rift. I... I jumped back in there uh, me and bubbles uh took the leap together and it, it's changed a lot so we'll, we'll see how that goes and how long it lasts um but for now it's a lot of fun it's new and, and exciting so a new mmo take a break from world of warcraft and play some rift um yeah so this week we had our uh our patch and it wasn't the patch we were looking for or excited about but content is content and that's good um so in in game news this week uh, well actually last week uh they buffed samantha and i'd mentioned that they were gonna increase samantha's stats uh so th they they changed it previously it was just 13 superstition and superstition as we all know is a weird unknown stat we're not exactly sure what it does but uh, so previously it gave 13 superstition uh, this week when they are last week when they increased uh, Samantha's stats he uh, he or she now gives 13 superstition three jump and a 2.2 percent life life per hit gain so if you're into damage on hit then that's one of the pets for you uh, they actually buffed it up to uh, to be on par with the other um, the other uh fit the other uh cat pets and so that's good and i i really hope that they go back through the other pets like the the pets for being in the beta and the alpha as well as a couple other store pets that have come out before the pets were buffed and maybe increase them a little bit uh not just not just Samantha, but the other pets, and make them a little bit more useful. Because right now, I'd rather have my Berserker out because it gives me a higher percent damage increase than having something else out, like I think Quibsley, or uh, I lost off the top of my head uh, what some of the other starter pets, like the Raptor and all those other little pets. Uh, hopefully, they those get buffed up a bit. Um, but. Yeah, so that that was last week. Uh, this week, however, the patch was the ship and deep water preview. Um, so they're they're actually getting giving us a little preview this week for the fish and ships update that's coming next week. Uh, they it uh, 
contained the tab for the ships and the fishing rods for next week. Um, but the main important thing about this patch is that they gave the power pack purchasers, the PPP power pack purchasers, <laughs> say that three times fast. Um, and anyway, uh, they gave them a preview of the fish or sorry, of the ships update. And Basically, they, they get to see the ships a week early. It's very similar treatment to the wings, nothing different. Um, so if you purchase the power pack, you will not only get everything that previously came with it, but you'll now also get the, um, what's it called? Oh, I didn't write it down. Now I feel crazy for doing it, but it's, it's a ship and it's gold. Um, there's actually a picture of it, I, I think, in the corner down there somewhere um of the ship it's kind of tiny you can see it a little bit um but they got that and they also added a ship a ship for the rank 70 mastery level um so those guys get a preview as well as the chaos chests have a small chance of dropping a chaos ship so everyone kind of gets a preview of the ships this week, and then next week they'll expand on them with the actual patch that contains all of the ships. And also, I think, I don't quote me on this, but I believe you can get a ship from the starter hub as well, but I have yet to find that. So, uh, what else do we got here this week? Uh, in the store news, uh, you can finally buy the Bone Knight and the Elysian Guard skins that were in the Chaos Chest last week. Um, those are, I think, uh, 1,250 credits each. So you have to pay to get those, but they look pretty nice, and I'm, I'm kind of a bit impressed by them. And I think those also come with a set of weapons to go with the skin, but that might just be the the previous set for the archer that came out a couple weeks ago but i think that these these guys come with a set of weapons and a helm to go with the armor set as well so that's kind of cool you get three things for your dollar um the chaos chests this week were randomized uh, again they're doing that every week and this week the things to look out for in the chaos chest are as i mentioned earlier the chaos ship uh, which is a, an early preview, as well as, and they said, a magical pet and a bouncy bug. Now, I'm not sure what the magical pet is, but I'm pretty sure the bouncy bug is a reference to Rift's, or no, I'm sorry, that's Defiance. Um, Defiance is a hell bug um, creature, I guess, a uh, creature pet. It's, it's like a reference to defiance and it's like a, a a spider kind of kind of weird bug there's also a rift in rift for for uh hell bugs but i have a feeling that that's what that's going to be is like the awesome ball but in the form of a uh a hell bug so that's exciting uh so the other very important thing that they added this week in their patch is something that they like to call Chaos Factor. Now, Chaos Factor is their version of loyalty points. Um, it's not fully 100% live yet, but the rewards are there, and you can actually see them, um, I think, on the site somewhere. If I find that out, I'll put it in uh, the show notes. But basically what Chaos Factor is, is you, you earn these points to gain Chaos Factor. And it's roughly a thousand points to gain one Chaos Factor. Now, you're probably asking yourself what... Oh, I'm sorry. that I said Chaos Factor. It, one thousand one thousand points to get... See, this, this is so kind of confusing to word here. Um, one thousand chaos 1000 loyalty points is one chaos point so roughly one loyalty point is one dollar spent on trove there we go i think i got that right that time I really hope i did it's kind of confusing and once it's 100 percent live i'm sure we'll get a more clear understanding of 
how how these lo- loyalty points and chaos factors and chaos points work. Um, but you're probably asking yourself, what are the chaos points for? Well, they added in the the ability to, along with your daily trove login rewards, which are your 500 credits right now, or 500 coins right now for uh, logging in and doing dungeons, along with that, for every chaos point you have, you will receive one chaos chest every day. And that's every day. That does not expire. So from here on, well, from Tuesday on forward, if you've spent $1,000 on Trove, you will receive one chaos chest every day. So every day you could have the possibility to get the chaos wings or whatever's new or stack them up and stack them up in bulk and then open them up in stacks of a hundred if you choose to. It, you, you do with them what you wish, but that you cannot sell them. But you can sell the contents of the chest. So I mean, I guess you can kind of sell them just a wee bit, but that math and numbers and marketing geniuses will figure that part out. Um, but the chest itself is soul bound. It's the exact chest that's in the store right now for 50 credits. Um, so there are a couple other ways, not just supporting Trove financially will get you these chaos points. Uh, you can get a chaos point from level 100 mastery and that so hitting level 100 mastery will give you one chaos point, which in return gives you a chaos chest. So already if you're level 100 mastery, like right now, if you have the gold name, uh, the gold plated name in Trove, you should have a, a a chaos point, which means that you're already getting your login bonus of a chaos chest every day. Um, on top of 100 mastery, you also receive a chaos point for being max level mastery. Now that sounds a little bit confusing because at the moment max level is 100. Actually, it might have, I think it went up 10 levels with this patch, but don't quote me on that. It's either this week or next week that they're increasing the level of mastery. But any, anywho, um, for being max level mastery, you'll receive one chaos point. So at that point will stay with the exception if you're no longer max level mastery. So right now, if if Mastery Max is level 100, you're going to get your point for being level 100 as well as your one point for being max level. However, if next week they change the Mastery level to 110, you're going to lose that one Mastery point because you're no longer cap and you're going to have to cap out your Mastery to get that point back. Um, And so it's going to cause you to have to keep getting your Mastery level to cap and that that could be a little bit challenging because it scales up and the difficulty to increase your mastery level is a little bit difficult. So you'll see less and less people with that. Um, but the easiest way that they said to know how many chaos points you're getting right now is if you have a gold name on your tag, or if you have a gold tag on your name right now, you are getting a chaos, at least two chaos points. Um, so, or something like that. That's how they explained it on the, the stream. And like I said, the whole system's a little weird. You have to kind of see it on paper to to understand it more. It's really kind of difficult to explain over text and video. Um, but, and I'll include a link to the, to the show notes, or in the show notes to the forum post that goes over mastery or chaos, chaos points a little bit more in depth. Um... Now, I did mention loyalty points earlier, and those those do tie in with the chaos factor. Um, and right now, there is not a way to view these loyalty points in-game. However, you can see how many loyalty points you have. Now, the loyalty points are basically for every dollar you spent on Trove, you received one loyalty point. But since loyalty points weren't in at launch, they said that they would graciously round up your loyalty points to an undefined number based on however they thought. Um, They actually didn't release how they rounded up. They just said they rounded up. Um, I think someone's actually got a forum post trying to figure that out with math and numbers, but I'm I'm not a math and numbers guy. Um, So anyway, you can view your loyalty points 
by logging into the Glyph Launcher and then clicking on Account. That will take you to the, uh, the Tryon website. And from there, you log into your account. And then when you're logged into your Tryon account, you will see uh, a little account tab. And if you highlight over that, it will have an option for transaction history. So you go into your transaction history and somewhere in there will be a transaction that says X loyalty points. Uh, for me, it was 250 loyalty points. And I think I've only spent like $60 on Trove so far. Um, so that kind of shows you how they round it up. Uh, but mind you, I, I've lost track of how much I've spent on Trove. Um, it's kind of crazy, but awesome all at the same time. Um, so, and they said soon that they'll be adding a, a way to view this in game. Uh, but for now, at least, and probably for the next couple weeks or so, uh, you can't really view them in game. But if you go through that, you'll be able to see it. <laughs> Excuse me, I think my microphone picked that up. I'm sorry, I should have muted my mic. Um, so that that's that's pretty much everything in the news for this week. Um, like I said, you can go to the forums or you can check the show notes and there'll be a link there to the forum post going more in depth about the show notes. I know there were some uh some hot fixes or not some hot fixes, but um some class minor modifications and some bug fixes and some more items were added. So all, all that uh, exciting mumbo jumbo, I guess. Sure, we'll call it exciting mumbo jumbo. Um, so this week, I kind of want to, because I, I was expecting to be able to talk about the, pat, the, the new patch, the fish and ships update. But like I said, they didn't come out with that this week. Um, so this week's discussion, we're going to talk about patch preparation. Um, so because this, this is coming out on Wednesday, maybe Thursday, it really just depends on how I'm feeling after the episode and how late it is. Um, but it, it's at least Thursday by the time you're listening to this and you have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, technically Tuesday, five days to prepare for the patch. Um, four. Yeah, because you can't really count Tuesday because Tuesday is the launch of the patch. Um, so at least four days to prepare. Um, so there's a couple things that you might want to do. Uh, one of the things coming out in the Fish and Ships update is the new pirate class. Uh, now, as you know, the classes do cost uh, money or coins, depending on your, your forte, however you want to get the class. Um, so you might... You may have already been saving up, but it would be wise to save up now because uh, save up your coins that you earn every day for logging in. It might if if you can save yourself a couple dollars, why not? Or save yourself the the credits and spend them on some pinatas or chaos chests or anything like that. Um, you can get the class for I think it's nine ninety eight hundred points. I might be wrong. Uh, I have I have all the classes right now, so I can't really see in in game how many or how much the classes cost so that that might change or not change but it, it it may be a different number and i may be thinking wrong um now the other thing that you can do and i'm not 100 percent for this i know that i'll be starting my pirate out 100 percent fresh but if you want to and you're kind of out of other stuff to do in trove and you're bored of farming dungeons and you're like oh what's the point i, I don't even need this gear well your character may not need the gear, but your pirate might. So I I I watched the stream. Uh, I think I think it was last Friday or Saturday, and they did they showed off a little bit of the pirate class, and from that I was kind of able to think a little bit about what stats the pirate may want. Um, I, I did uh, one of the mechanics of the pirate and uh, next week we can go over all of the pirates mechanics and discuss more in depth when we actually have the pirate class in our hands and we can play with it and craft what numbers we want. But just based off of the stream, um, one of the pirates abilities is he throws out a cannon that's manned by a parrot, a parrot. He's adorable. Um, but he also taunts the target or taunts enemies to him to keep him away from the pirate. And I'm wondering, and I tweeted uh, at Trove Game, and they didn't get back to me, so I'm not certain on this. 
but I'm thinking that maybe his, well, he probably, he might not. Just depending on how, how it works out, um, there are two ways that you can go with the stats um, for, the, for the pirate. Um, if, if the parrot's durability, we're, we're going to say it, the parrot's durability is a set number, then I'm going to guess that you're probably going to want to go with magic damage, attack speed, and energy regeneration for your stats. Um, but however, if the parrot's health will scale with your health, then you'll want to stack health over energy regeneration. So it really all just depends on how the class goes. And like I said, you can't really take my word for how how the stats are going to work out because I've never played the class before. I just have the stream to go off of what what I'm basing these thoughts off of. Um, so the other thing that you can do to prepare for the patch next week is to save your gear or farm up your gear now and get it up to uh, forge level 25 for your pirate. So when he hits level 10, you can just throw on that gear and be ready for whatever uber you see fit. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it, other than wait in anticipation for the patch. Uh, I'm very excited. I, I personally can't wait for the pirate class. He sounds very, very unique. Um, and so it's, it's going to be interesting to see how this class fits in with the other classes in Trove. Um... And I know that next week, also with the patch, me and Bubbles, uh, if you don't know who Bubbles is or didn't listen to the podcast last week, he's a really good friend of mine. And we're going to be trying to do a Let's Play series of us leveling up our pirates together in Trove. Um, so look forward to that next week, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, I haven't done a Let's Play in forever, so it's, it's going to be new and exciting, but you learn, you go, and you have fun with it. That's the main important thing. I might even hit the go live button with it. Um, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it works out. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for patch preparation. Uh, the good old, yeah, yeah, good old patch preparation. Um, now, last week we didn't do a mod review because I didn't get a chance to talk to the mod creator about featuring the mod in this podcast however uh they got back to me like a day or two after the podcast was out and said it was perfectly fine and awesome that i was willing to review uh review their mod so i actually went ahead and recorded the video of the review and put that live on youtube as a separate video so i'll put a link to that in the show notes and you guys can go over there and check that out as well uh but for you audio listeners um and for everybody really uh just to bring it up in the podcast is uh that the mod is created by slight mishap and it it is it replaces the samantha pet with a fox uh the fox's name uh when i talked to slight mishap was they were thinking about calling it kurama which is based off of a, a, an anime character in the show Naruto, um, which is, is it's a it's a neat name. I can see that being in game, but you really to get the the full effect of this pet, you really just need to check it out either in game or check out the review video. Uh, it's just this adorable little fox, and he he burrowed his way into my heart. I love him. He's adorable and. So definitely check that out and hype up that mod. Um, really, really good quality work went into the pet. And it's it's impressive. So uh, shout outs to Slight Mishap for creating the mod and check it out. There's also going to be a link in the show notes as well for where you can find that and get any information on it as well. Um, so yeah, I, I think that's it. Um, did I say that I had the intro in front of the show? I don't remember. Um, but yeah, th there was the intro. If I didn't say it, I'll, I'll say it a second time, I guess, just to be sure. Uh, the intro in front of the show. Uh, the music was found and created by a website. Da, 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 da. 
right there, um, was created by bensound.com, which is a royalty free music website. And I recommend anybody check it out. Who's looking for music for their YouTube channel. Um, really good sound, 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 not sounders, but music, uh, full fledged two, three minute songs. And he is graciously letting anybody use his music, providing they just give him credit and a link to his website. Uh, so I, I greatly appreciate um, him for allowing me to use the music. And there's also a link in the sh in the YouTube uh, show notes and the show notes to the video um, for where you can find out more information on that. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Alan91330. I'm a big Twitter fan. I love tweeting. I tweet at least once a day. It's almost an addiction. Maybe I should go to rehab for Twitter. It's kind of scary sometimes. Not really. I'm kidding. Um, and you can find me in game. If you want to run some Ubers or some shadow dungeons or whatever, if I'm on, hit me up, but uh, it's tiny T I N Y, uh, easy name, simple It's favorite name. I love it. It's original too. Um, if you have any, uh, comments, questions, concerns, or issues with the show, uh, please let me know. I want to make this podcast as good as I possibly can. And if you feel you can help me out in any way, uh, please feel free to either hit me up uh, on on Reddit. Uh, Alan91330 is my Reddit name. Uh, if you want to email about the show, feel free to email the show at whatsupwithtrove at gmail.com. Uh, and you can view the show notes to the show at whatsupwithtrove.blogspot.com. Um, now one other thing is, and this will probably be the last thing that I go over here is, uh, last, two weeks ago, I submitted an application to SoundHound, uh, a gracious Reddit user actually showed me SoundHound, uh, gracious, or not SoundHound, I keep saying that, it's SoundCloud, sorry, um, SoundCloud, um, showed me SoundCloud and that's what I've been using to get the podcast on the air, um. Uh, last two weeks ago, I'm sorry, two weeks ago, I had submitted an application to be considered for the SoundCloud podcaster community, I guess, uh, beta, and they accepted me for that. Yay! Excitement! Woo! Oop, hit, hit my mic there. Whoops, right there. There we go. Um. Anyway, they accepted me for that, and that gives me access to an RSS feed. Um. Now, what that gives me is the ability to put my show on iTunes and Stitcher and any other podcast station that takes... Oh, hello there. Oh, hello. How are you? Hi. <laughs> A giant uh, cookie fent jumped on my head. That was weird. Derailed the show. Um, yeah. So, um... Anyway, what that RSS feed gives me is the ability to put the show on iTunes and Stitcher. Um, now, I've already gotten the show on Stitcher. Uh, Stitcher is a podcast application, and you can view it in the internet, or you can download it on your smartphone, take it everywhere. Uh, it's kind of like SoundCloud, but it, it's a full-on application. Um, so you can find the show. Uh, this is kind of exciting. I hear people say it on their podcasts all the time, but... Um, Make sure if you listen on Stitcher or iTunes to, to thumbs up the, the podcast, uh, it tells me that people are liking what I'm doing as well as shows me that people are interested, uh, as well as keep up the, the Reddit comments and the Trove, com the Trove forum comments as well. I, I keep a forum post on there of the episodes when they come out live and, uh, all the feedback really does help. And any feedback at all just it keeps me going and shows me that people are actually listening and it's a big motivator to see even if it's a great job smiley face or hashtag trove whatever um it 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 gets me every time puts a big smile on my face um I love you guys and I'm I'm glad that you guys are listening um so thank you so much for that um and excuse me, uh, just making sure I covered everything. I've got my iPad in the corner with my show notes here. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. I'm, uh, gonna close out the show. I, I'm not sure. I need a closer now. I've got an opener. Now I need a closer. Um, 
So I guess I'll uh, see you guys next week. <laughs> yeah, I got it all. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, green screen. There's nobody in the hub. I am alone. Loneliness. Let's go see this guy. Hold on. Here we go. Oop. Oh. Okay. Goodbye.